Are you a designer or are you a developer? It doesn't matter which one of these you are, the hardest part about your job is collaborating with the other side of the team. Because let's be honest, designers are not known to be fantastic at code and developers are not known to be fantastic at design. There's a couple of you unicorns out there, but we don't like to talk about you. That's why in this series, I wanna introduce you to a platform called Anima. 4.0 that allows designers and developers and teams to collaborate on projects and get prototypes and products out quickly. If you build websites and web applications in a team, this, this is for you. Anima allows the design team to design in their tool of choice and then add complex animations, hover states, links, interactions, responsive breakpoints, and then push all of that up to Anima where the development teams now have access to HTML, CSS, React code snippets, the entire code package. They can override tags and interact and download with every single asset in the project. It's seamless, it's easy to use. It allows you to comment, collaborate, share prototypes, and push things live. It's absolutely insane. This is Anima 4.0. Okay, I have my browser open and I am at animaapp.com. That's where you can find out more about Anima. One of my favorite spots to go to on the site would just be Anima 101. It's gonna give you the basic rundown of everything that you can do with Anima and it breaks it down by which portion of the team are you on. Are you a designer? Are you a developer? They're gonna give you either nine or seven steps to start integrating Anima into your workflow. Again, this is all about handoff and collaboration between the design and development teams. It brings those two things together into one really synonymous workplace that's really efficient, fast, and awesome. So, gives you the basic rundown, which is sign up, bring in your team, create a project, all sounds pretty simple so far, install the Anima plugin for any of the big three design softwares that are out there, Sketch, XD, or Figma. In our project, we're gonna be using XD. Then you can create a responsive prototype, add smart layers, preview it in the browser, sync it to your team's project, and then collaborate with your team. We're gonna cover all of this, but that's Anima in a nutshell. Now it's time to introduce you to the project. I'm gonna kick over to Adobe XD, which is the software that we will be using for our project. And you can see I have a landing page for a website that I'm building for a new mobile application that I've recently launched called Cardboard Nerd. And you can see it's a basic one page landing page that's really just encouraging people to download um, install the application on iOS or Android, has a couple screenshots of what the app does, a few call to actions with buttons, but that's it. It's colorful, it's vibrant, but something important to note, I also have different breakpoints and I've gone ahead before this video started as I was designing and I've designed it responsively using Adobe XD's responsive resize feature. But I have a bunch of different breakpoints as my artboards started to kind of feel crammed or not work, I just jumped over to a new breakpoint, made some changes, and just kept on cruising until I went all the way down to mobile. This is the project we're gonna be building today. We're gonna to be using Anima to bring it to life with animations and hover states and Lottie and all sorts of cool stuff. And then we're gonna push everything up to Anima so that it can be used by our developers or maybe even export out the code for ourselves. The next thing we need to do is either sign up or log into our Anima account. It's free to sign up. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Once I'm logged in, you'll see a basic dashboard that Anima offers to us. It has our projects that we're working on that will be presented here. It allows us to invite people to our workspace. It shows us the plugins that we can download, which we'll do in a minute. It gives us some free helpful hints over here on Anima 101. We can build teams, start new projects, look at the archives, of the projects that we've had. We can also check out settings. That has to do with general settings, members, your billing stuff, and your teams. And once you click into a project, like I have this project here, it's gonna bring us specifically into the project. We can actually invite people only to that project instead of the entire workspace. And you can see the different screens that have been uploaded into this specific project. From here, we can preview it, we can check the code, we can share it, or we can mess around with the project settings. But that's the basics of this Anima dashboard. We're pretty much ready to get started by downloading, installing the plugin, and then moving forward in our design software. There's a couple different ways you can download the plugins for your design software. One of the easiest ways is to open up plugin and go ahead and download for your specific software here. Or if you're using something like Adobe XD, you can jump over to Adobe XD, head over to your plugins, and you can search for it in your plugins manager. So we can just do a quick search for uh, Anima app, 
It's gonna show up right there. It says that I already actually have this installed. So why don't we go back and look in our plugins tab. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and click. I'm gonna log in here and it's gonna give me access to everything that I need with the plugin. There we go, our login is complete, you're all set. When you head back over to the design software, you can see that our Anima app plugin is logged in. You can see all the different projects we have. We can create new projects, and we have all of the tools that Anima offers to us by creating links and breakpoints, smart layers with hover effects and animations, video, GIF, Lottie, forms, text input, and embedding custom code right here into our Adobe XD project. From there, we'll be able to export code or preview things in the browser, and we're gonna do all of that in the following videos. Well, that's it. We were able to get signed up for Anima, download the plugin for our tool of choice, set everything up and get a quick tour and overview of what Anima can do and what we will be doing in the future portions of this series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and collaboration tools like Anima, so stick around. Hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video in the series comes out. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and make sure to check the description for some helpful links about Anima. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're using anything and everything that you can to collaborate well in your teams. We'll see you in the next one.